Oh, look at this craziness. Yeah. There's a bunch of weeds there, but there's some grass too. Yeah. You think I should fix this area? Yeah. Probably. Today I'm starting another experiment here for the channel. I'm going to be looking at a non-selective weed killer called Weed Warrior. It's part of the Get Sunday uh, lineup of products. Uh, it falls under the herbicide self category. It's basically an organic, uh, safe alternative to using glyphosate. Glyphosate. It's like a safe alternative to using glyphosate to kill non-selective vegetation. So back here behind me, see where I'm at here is my house, main side yard. Behind me, this little section right here is an overgrown weedy patch. Now I kind of forced this grass to wake up a little bit early uh, and all the weeds to wake up early by putting some greenhouse fabric uh, and a little tiny cold frame over it for a couple weeks. So you can see the rest of the hill hasn't quite come alive yet. Uh, here you'll see there's an enormous amount of dandelions mixed in. I should say this used to be a kind of a natural hillside, but I've never uh, killed everything off and planted seed. Um, I dug that up last year, put all of the material there, and woke up all of the, the weeds. So anyway, it's going nuts. So this year I'm going to be I'm going to be getting rid of it and putting seed down. So anyway, that's a that's a side note. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be applying the herbicidal soap, the Weed Warrior product, which is probably very similar to any herbicidal soap that you find at a local big box store. I'm gonna put that down here and see how long it takes to really just kind of kill the vegetation. I wanna kill all the vegetation off, and then I'm gonna cultivate the space and seed it. I'm gonna do a spring seeding project here. So that's gonna come in a later video down the road, but here's the project. Let's spray it down, let's kill it. Let's see how fast and effective this is. Look at this, this is my awesome storage spot for it. It's been sitting there for like two weeks. Sunday's Weed Warrior. Look at that, it actually says see results in 20 minutes. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, just FYI, because it will kill grass, turf grass, uh, I've lined up these little old shingles um, to protect my my nice lawn, I really only want to kill this spot. I'm not even going to go up the hill, just this flat spot here. Like a fool, I'm walking on it, which means I'm getting some of the product on the bottom of my shoes. Uh, don't follow my example. Uh, I'm going to start on this side now, and I'll probably have to take my shoes off to walk back across the regular lawn because I don't want to damage the lawn. Seriously, my forearm's getting tired. I don't squeeze a pump bottle enough. All right, it's actually pretty, pretty hard to do that for such a long period of time on your forearm. Um, the bottle says it's gonna kill with start killing within 20 minutes. So I'm gonna check up on this periodically throughout the day today and then into tomorrow. I really expect that I missed a lot. Um, and I've never attempted to kill vegetation with an herbicidal soap. So this is a learning experience for me as well. I'm gonna find out just how effective this is. From my research, uh, you're able to seed a lawn after, or seed a spot, after you apply an herbicidal soap or this particular product, after about five days. So I'm going to give this at least a day or two and kind of see what progress is being made. Uh, I will probably have to apply another round of this to the problem spots or the places or the grass here that I missed. Weeds here that I missed. That wind again. Point being is I want to get this thing all cleaned up and bare so that I could do a seeding project here in the spring. Seeding in the spring isn't the best idea, but some people just need to do it. So I want to demonstrate how to get it done. Uh, so expect that in a future video down the road. Now, 
let's roll the, I don't know, it's not exactly a time lapse, but I'm going to show you a handful of pictures throughout the day today and tomorrow. Hope it's, I hope it's interesting. Honestly, I've never done this before. So yeah, yeah, the, the weeds are dying and the grass is dying. There's only been two hours. Check it out. Been about two hours and 20 minutes or so. I don't know if that bottle is correct and sane results in as little as 60 or tw what, 20 minutes or something like that. But it's obviously starting to take effect. I'll keep monitoring it. All right, here we are, six hours after application. Can you tell the difference? The lighting's different. Everything looks dry. That's what I'm calling it. We'll check it probably tomorrow morning. Right now, 20 hours have passed. It's the next morning. And I see some white in there. Things look a little bit dry. It's definitely not full anymore. I'd say some of the tender things are fully dead. But there's a lot still going on. We'll keep checking up on this over the next day. All right, here we are, 30 hours, 30 hours since I applied Weed Warrior, the herbicidal soap. And you can tell a distinct difference. Everything there is dying. It looks like there's a handful of things that were missed. Like those right there, probably have to hit those again. Got a handful of other stuff in there too. Uh, there's a random yellow dandelion looking all happy. I'm going to keep uh, waiting until tomorrow. I'm going to hit the 48-hour mark uh, before I take more action. All right. It has now been 54 hours. That's two days and six hours if you're counting. And things look toasty. There's a lot of death going on here, but look at this. There's a lot of life still in there. What I'm guessing is the herbicidal soap is pretty strong to kill baby, baby weeds or baby foliage. Uh, things that are young, uh, at least on the first round. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, since this is new to me, I've never used herbicidal soaps before. Some of the research that I've done on their, their use, I'm kind of, kind of just rolling with it here. I'm going to be probably cleaning this up, trying to rip off uh, some of the tips, some of the dead tips uh, from what I've learned. Once things die, uh, adding more material to it or more herbicidal soap to it isn't going to do anything. It's really only going to kill the plant if you're applying it to green foliage, so things that are actively growing or alive. So I'm going to try to scrape up some of the tips there, and I'll probably reapply and wait another couple days and kind of see where it goes. I've also learned um, over the handful of days here that I've been researching this, that herbicidal soaps um, are going to be weaker on perennials because the root systems are more robust uh, and more developed. And that makes sense. So um, if you've got like, uh, I don't know, perennial dandelions or other sorts of like weeds that persist year after year, uh, maybe, uh, maybe foliage that has like uh, rhizomes or stolons, things that spread um, side to side. You know, the plant system is, is more significant than just the, just what you see coming up off the ground. Um, it's not going to be as strong on those things. So there's probably a little bit of that in this little patch that I got back here. Uh, I'm not too worried about it because I'm just trying to improve the patch. I'm not trying to achieve perfection here. This is an experiment. Anyway, uh, that's what you can expect with an herbicidal soap in a couple days. Uh, the bottle literally says results in 20 minutes. You can start seeing it in 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, I guess kind of you can start seeing it in a few hours. Um, but that's what you see in a couple days. I don't know if it's going to look much different from that a couple more days from now. So I'm just going to stop this experiment right now and then just start really going to town trying to eliminate all of all of the foliage right there so that I can seed the patch uh, probably next week. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. hope this was interesting, enlightening. I don't know if enlightening is the right word, but, um, you know, it's an interesting experiment. We all have to experiment with things so that we learn. Uh, thanks for watching. 
if you're this far into the video, uh, I'll see you on another video down the road. Maybe the next one. I don't know. Where is it going to be? Uh, right. Going to be right up in there.